There was a man and a woman who lived in an old run-down farm in the middle of nowhere. The husband was a mean and cantankerous old man who took pleasure in making his wife's life miserable. He seldom spoke to her, and when she said anything, he would tell her to shut up. One day, the man was digging a well on his property, and his wife was helping him. All of a sudden, the bottom dropped out into a deep hole. The man was puzzled and wanted to see what had happened, so he told his wife to go back to the house and fetch a flashlight. When she came running back with it, he switched the flashlight on, tied it to a rope, and lowered it down into the hole. It went down and down, but no matter how much rope he let out, it never seemed to reach the bottom. The man started to pull the rope back up, but it got caught on something. He started pulling on it, but it felt like something was pulling back. Frustrated, the man gave a big tug, and suddenly the rope was almost yanked out of his hands. Eventually, he managed to pull the rope up, but when he got to the end of it, the flashlight was gone. Instead, there was a small white pouch attached to it. With trembling hands, he opened it, and to his surprise, a chunk of gold tumbled out along with a handwritten note. He picked up the note and tried to read it, but it was written in a language that he couldn't decipher, so he tossed it away. He told his wife he was going into town to buy more flashlights, and ordered her to keep an eye on the hole while he was away. As soon as he was gone, she hurried back to the house and rummaged through the cupboards looking for a dictionary. Then she took a big piece of ham out of the fridge. She also grabbed a pen and paper and wrote a note. When she returned to the hole, she put all these items in a bucket, tied it to a rope, and lowered it down. The woman waited for a while, and then she pulled the rope back up. It seemed much heavier, and twice she had to take a stop to rest. When she finally hauled the bucket back up, she was shocked to see that it was filled to the brim with sparkling jewels. There was also another note, and this time it was in English. It read, Send more food. She hurried back to the house and hid the jewels where she knew that her husband wouldn't find them. When the man returned, the back of his pickup truck was filled with flashlights. He put a few of them in the bucket and lowered them down. But when he pulled the rope back up, he was outraged to find that the bucket wasn't filled with gold or jewels, just a few broken flashlights. He flew into a violent rage, stomping on the remains of the flashlights and cursing at the top of his lungs. Then he ran back to the house and fetched his shotgun. He told his wife he was going to go down into the hole and give them a piece of his mind. She begged him not to go, but he was so furious that he wouldn't listen. He attached a big oil drum to the wince of the back of his pickup truck. Then he climbed into the drum. He gave his wife orders to lower him down, and after ten minutes bring him back up again. She threw the switch, and the man was lowered down into the oil drum. The woman stared at her watch. A ten whole minutes had passed. Then she flipped the switch, and the wince began to drag the oil drum back into the surface. She peered into the drum, but her husband wasn't there. Instead, it was filled with gold bars, jewelry, and coins. Sitting on top of them was another note. It read, Thanks for the meat.